And hello everybody, Crook Nice here with a long overdue video. Um, yeah, I gotta apologize. Uh, you know, as you guys know, I was moving earlier uh, at the end of October, and uh, in the middle of that, unfortunately, some things happened that required my full and undivided attention. And uh, you know, I wanna postponing uh, some of the things that I enjoy doing, like my videos and you know, uh, the cryptocurrency market, but things are finally handled. We're kind of back on track with things. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to get something out for you guys, you know, beginning of this week, get back into the habit of things. So, uh, while I was absent, I saw I got a number of new subscribers. So everyone, a welcome to my channel. Uh, you know, I got a lot to talk about. Um, you know, unfortunately can't do it all in one video, but, uh, yeah, I am working on a bunch of things. So, uh, just a quick note, I want to let everyone know I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not here to give you financial advice or even how to spend your money. This is just uh, my opinions and my views that I've gotten from the market. Um, you know, uh, just to let you know what my strategies are and my thoughts. Uh, you know, make sure you are doing your own research. You're getting your information from multiple sources and, you know, making your decisions from there. So, uh, you know, back to my daily videos with uh, using Apex Trader. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> I got caught up in the uh, you know Friday essentially uh, crash of the altcoin market. And I've been holding on to a bunch of positions since then, but we'll go into that in a little bit. First, I want to talk about the market, get caught up on things. So as of right now, uh, you know, again, we're still in the above 50% on the Bitcoin dominance. Uh, the market cap has been holding over 200 billion overall, and you know we did see some light volume today. Uh, you know, and it is going into Monday now, so we'll see what happens over the next uh, you know couple days. Uh, first, I want to talk about where we're at um, just right now. We've been in this consolidation period since uh, you know uh, beginning of September, and we've been pretty much trading sideways. Uh, you know, since then, going into November, uh, with some price action, but for the most part, you know, as uh, I've been seeing a lot, Bitcoin's been pretty boring. Uh, you know, the altcoins took a hit on Friday, and, uh, you know, so hopefully we'll see some recovery this week, and, you know, me personally, I can get out of some of these positions I've been stuck with since Friday afternoon. Uh now, we are in the month of November, and typically the month of November, uh, except for 2011, uh, if you go back historically, has been a very good month for Bitcoin. And, you know, the end of October, uh, you know, we saw, you know, the push going into, um, you know, and into an upward trend, uh, breaking the cycle of, uh, you know, this downward trend we were seeing for most of October. And... Uh, you know, we see we've seen some pushes up to that resistance of 6,500, which yes, right now is a resistance, and I think it's very important that if we're going to continue to see an upward trend uh, going into the rest of November and even December, uh, we need to break past 6,500 and actually hold it um, as a line of support. Now, there's some interesting things. There's a lot of things going on right now that. Uh, you know, with Bitcoin, you know, with its short history, we haven't quite encountered yet. And, you know, the market can still go either way towards the bears or the bulls. Uh, you know, even with all the sideways trading and, um, you know, a lot of positive things that we are seeing out of the market, the RSI is going up, even so tastic RSI is starting to uh, peak up past, uh, you know, previous resistance levels. There's not a whole lot of volume going on in the market. Again, you know, if you're a daily trader or a swing trader or anything like that, you're starting, you know, you can see that there's really not a lot of movement. There's, you know, the gains are, are you know, are small, if any. And, you know, one day you're doing good and the next minute, you know, you're back in the red. So, you know, it's this market's really tough right now. Uh you know, but like I said, you know, the, historically November has been a very good month for Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market in general. So if we can see volume come back in, uh, you know, we'll see some more price action and hopefully, uh, you know, a trend going upwards. Uh, one thing I wanted to kind of compare to, um, and this is a chart I've been looking at off and on, uh, 
you know, for a couple months since I really started doing this, is this is 2014 through 2015 uh, when Bitcoin was in its bear market. Now, the difference, the really the only big difference between that bear market and this bear market is our bear market um, has been, uh, like if you follow this chart here, uh, you know, this was a much longer downward trend, whereas uh, before we hit a consolidation period, you know, our trend has only been, you know, seven to ten months, depending on when you want to start looking at when the bear market officially started. But you can see here, uh, you know, in 2015, it went through several months of consolidation before we saw a dip and then finally market recovery. And if we go back to, you know, what we're, you know, when we really started uh, consolidation, uh, back in the beginning, beginning of September, you know, we've been in a long line of consolidation, but the difference is, you know, we're starting to see now more of an uptick, whereas before uh, in the previous uh, bear market and consolidation, you know, there was more of a downward trend. Does that mean that we're going to break through and the bear and the bulls are going to win? Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of up in the air. Uh, back in 2015, you know, there were a lot of different factors involved. You know, the stock markets were a lot more healthier. Uh, the housing markets, the overall world market was in a much healthier space, whereas now with the tariffs and everything else, we're starting to see a, uh, a lot more turmoil slowly come into the world markets. So it's really tough to say, you know, are we going to see some money and some volume pour back in as people pull out of the other markets? Or, you know, are things just going to get you know, so expensive um, outside of the cryptocurrency that, uh, you know, we're not going to see uh, money coming in. Uh, you know, it's, it's to me, this is really up in the air. We have, you know, I'm playing this day by day as usual, uh, looking at the news and, you know, figuring out what I want to do with my strategies and how I want to handle not just the bots, but the overall market as well. Uh, but don't be surprised if in the next 30 to 60 days, you know, we do see one last push by the bears uh, to test that 62, 6,000, even that 5,700 level of support that we have right now and a possible breakdown all the way to, you know, 4,800 or even 3,200 before we see a full recovery in the market and a change of sentiment and an increase of volume pushing us back into hopefully a longer trend of a bear market. Uh a flip side to this is if you look, you know, we're we've been testing a 6,500 level. Uh, we're seeing more positive action in the Bitcoin overall. So it's very good possible that we could break, you know, that resistance right now of 6,500, I think is very important. And if we can hold that and push up uh, over the next 60 days to 72 to 7,400 and hold that, then, you know, going into 2019, we could see a whole sentiment change in the market and, uh, you know, a, a continued pattern of, of upward trends. You know, so, you know, you can make your own decisions from there. I'm personally not leaning either way right now. I'm just playing the market as a consolidation. And, you know, depending on the news, what happens over the next couple of months, uh, I think is going to be uh, a huge factor in how Bitcoin and the overall cryptocurrency market happens. I definitely think that for a good catalyst, we need to see something big happen in favor of Bitcoin, whether it's an ETF or, um, you know, a change in some of the bigger markets, you know, like India, uh, they're still struggling on, you know, whether they're going to allow trading or not trading in Bitcoin. You know, that is a lot of volume that's currently missing on the market that we had last year. I don't think we're going to see a parabolic rise that we saw the last two months of 2017. I know there's a lot of talk that's going to happen with, you know, uh, all this potential stuff that we're, uh, is, is happening over the next couple of months. But that's not going to be healthy either. We'll be right back into a bear market next year if that happens. We need to see healthy growth. We need to see steady growth. And we need to see, you know, less manipulation and, and more true volume happening in the market. But with the low volume, you're going to see spikes up and you're going to see spikes down because the order books are so thin that any change in one direction or the other is going to affect the prices. Now, I am going to 
uh, I'm in the process of working out a series of things that I like to see in 2019 uh, to really see a true change in the market and for there to be more people interested in, in cryptocurrency, like everyday, you know, dApps coming out that people can, you know, just everyday people can use. You know, we need to see, you know, these investors uh, continuing to push for uh, proper regulation so they can invest in the market and put money into it. But I'm going to go more into that in later videos and the whole series of that. So with that said, uh, you know, those are my thoughts on the market at the moment. Uh, you know, you could take it or, you know, uh, do your own research on that. But we're definitely in a period of consolidation. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see one more really hard push down to, you know, test, you know, certain areas of support. Uh, and for us to continue an upward trend, I think our the very first step needs to be we need to see a breakthrough of 6,500 right now. And it needs to hold uh, as support before you know we can see any more further rises upwards and then you know yeah we do have a lot of areas of resistance going up but i really feel that 7200 to 7400 is going to be key uh for a total change in sentiment of the market uh before the end of the year or even into january uh you know otherwise i think we're just going to continue to, to be trading in a channel of 6200 to about 6800 uh you know, just a lot of sideways trading. So, you know, uh, don't hold your breath, but make sure you are paying attention to the market and the news. So in my absence, there's been uh, some upgrades and changes to Apex Trader. Uh, I am still working on, uh, I actually am working on two strategies now. Nightmare is almost finished. Uh, it was doing, you know, fairly well uh, last week. Um, obviously, you know, I got hit on a couple of uh, downturns. Uh, you know, not the only one on that. And, uh, you know, throughout this week, I was making some minor changes. I did make one major change. So, you know, to see how it performs, uh, I did take, you know, some minor losses to get rid of old positions to give it a chance to cycle through. So I'm really happy with how it's performing right now. Uh, going into, you know, today, Monday, uh, you know, once the traders get back to the desks and, you know, we, we start seeing more action, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll see uh, some money pouring into the altcoin market and, you know, as many of you are also stuck. So I'm just showing a little patience right now and maybe going into Tuesday, I might get rid of some older positions. I did get um, caught up in some pump and dumps. I've been pretty good at last week on avoiding a lot of them. Uh, but you know, you can't win them all. So, you know, I might just let these sit and then, uh, DCA them once I start seeing some really good positive movement so I can get out of them or at least take minor losses. So, um, that was nightmare. This is sweet dreams. Sweet dreams is going to be a longer term, uh, slower, uh, strategy. Uh, again, up until Friday, I was seeing, uh, you know, some good movement with it. It's still in its infancy, so there's a lot I still need to do with it, but in its very basic form, I think it was performing really well. I did get one win out of it before, uh, you know, I got hit with, you know, that just altcoin dump on Friday, so I've just been being patient and letting them sit. Uh, you know, we took another dump today because these numbers were not this big um, going into Sunday morning. These two are from... Uh, the previous, because um, I've been testing Nightmare and Ethereum, which, you know, doesn't work as well as Bitcoin, but it does work well. So, um, Nightmare's got some minor, minor adjustments I want to make, which over the next couple of weeks I'll be doing. I just want to give it some time to sort itself out with the market. And, uh, probably by the end of November, I'll at least release it for, um, public beta testing and hopefully get some feedback from anyone interested in trying it out. So, uh, some changes. I'm gonna, you know, just pop over the triggers right now. Obviously, right now I don't have my triggers enabled uh, because I'm so in the red. I don't want to take, you know, if Bitcoin does go down, I don't want to take a, a huge, a huge loss in that. Um, I'd rather just right now just let them go down and then sort itself out. Let's turn it on real quick. There we go. All right. So 
one of the things that happened in my absence was there was uh, uh, they fixed some bugs and they added in uh, other stable coins. So if you're, you know, obviously USDT is having some issues right now. Uh, in the news, they are getting backed by a different bank, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, they're going to try to be more transparent, but we'll really see what happens with that. And they also burned like half their coins. So, you know, right now as a stable coin, it's not doing as well. Uh, so you can go through and in your default settings, you can pick your stable coin that you want uh, your trigger to sell to if there is a large dump to protect your assets. Uh, just make sure that you set your rebuy amount to zero and the bot will automatically calculate and do its thing from there. Don't put in an amount or, you know, you're going to screw the whole thing up. Uh, so, um, you know, settings, you know, uh, one thing I did want to point out to you guys is uh, you can, if you're not always watching the market, uh, you can use your uh the coins here to see what's um if you go by price change you can see what's being pumped and what's being dumped and um as you can see here right because i have all coins selected uh you can deselect and if you do that a couple times a day uh you know you can kind of stay on top of things does that mean that you're gonna not get hit no you're still gonna get hit with stuff uh you know and i know i've seen people you know throw this out at the devs, you know, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing a temporary back blacklist where we can set, you know, time frames and uh, percentage jumps on when to temporarily blacklist it for X amount of time. I think that would be a really cool feature. And I think that's been uh, put out there before and it's probably in, in GitHub. I haven't had a chance to really go through GitHub recently. Uh, but, um, you know, that would be cool to see. So right now, you know, I don't have um, a lot of action going on. I have um, seen some movement to the uptrend trend as uh, markets are waking up and, you know, we get into Monday. Uh, this is more of a waiting game for me. So um, that's pretty much today's video. I know it's not a lot. I've been trying to, to catch up. Um, now, one of the things I'm going to do is on the next major release, uh, because there have been a lot of changes both visually and how things work. I'm going to redo uh, the tutorials to um, make it more to speed with what's going on. So once we get another major update, I'll be doing those. Uh, you will see some changes like I'll be adding cards in to previous videos for those of you just tuning in or just starting with um, Apex Trader uh, to help you get started. Um, but they are, you know, if you do scroll back, you'll see, you know, I do have some tutorial videos if you want to take a look at those. Uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, end this video. Um, you know, but, you know, going forward, you guys will see uh, me going back into daily or every other day videos. And, uh, you know, we'll get more specific once again. I just wanted to get caught up and, and let you guys know where I was at. Um, so definitely looking forward to putting out Nightmare at the end of the month and getting some really good feedback from hopefully uh, anyone willing to test it and uh, you know we'll see what happens this week <laughs> if I have to make any more major adjustments it all depends on the market um, you know we're we're you know Bitcoin pairs we're all in red Ethereum pairs it's just us a complete bloodbath of red and even USD uh, you know, we're, we're starting to see some recovery in USD, but it's still pretty rough. So, um, you know, just keep an eye on the market, guys. Be careful what you're trading. Remember, you just can't leave your bots on 24-7 and ignore it. They do need you, you know, if you're going to make money and you want to stay on top of the market, you got to constantly be paying attention to the market, pay attention to what's going on in Discord uh, and what some of the more experienced traders are talking about and listen to their advice and, you know, um, don't be afraid to turn off your bot from time to time, uh, you know, and hopefully, you know, most of you didn't get caught out there on Friday like I did, but uh, right now it's not, it's not looking pretty, you know. So anyway, I'm happy trading. I uh, am glad to be back. Feel free to, uh, if you like my videos, hit that like button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you want to know when I'm popping out new videos, uh, which we'll start seeing regularly again. And um, 
yeah, I'm just going to end it on that note. we got to kind of get back into the swing of things, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Crypto Knights out.